In this video, I'll go over setting up an iOS device, specifically my iPhone 10 running iOS 15, to connect to an L2TP IPsec, OpenVPN, and WireGuard VPN running on a Synology NAS. I'll also leave a few links to videos that I've created that cover setting up those services on a Synology NAS in the description below. For an L2TP IPsec VPN connection, there isn't any additional software that needs to be installed on an iOS device, so to set things up, we'll just need to go to Settings, then VPN. From here, I'll tap on Add VPN Configuration. Then, from the Add Configuration screen, I'll tap Type, select L2TP, then click Back. Now, we'll need to enter in the required items. For description, I'll enter in something that is meaningful to my setup. For server, I'll enter in the DDNS hostname that I set up for my Synology NAS that is running the L2TP IPsec service. Next, I'll enter in the username that was set up specifically for the VPN connection, as well as the password, so I don't have to enter it in each time I want to connect. Secret would be the pre-shared key that was entered in when configuring the VPN. And finally, I'll enable the Send All Traffic toggle to send all traffic through the VPN, then click Done to finish up the setup. Now, from the VPN screen, I'll tap on the newly created L2TP IPsec connection, then toggle the status switch. If all goes well, the VPN connection will be established, and the status will change to Connected and we can start using the L2TP IPsec connection. For OpenVPN, we'll first need to export the configuration zip file from the VPN server package from DSM on our Synology NAS. Then extract the archive and edit the OpenVPN configuration file before continuing with the instructions. I covered this extensively in my OpenVPN video, so I won't repeat the steps here, but for your reference, I'll link to the specific timecode in that video where I covered downloading and editing the OpenVPN configuration file in the description below. Next, we'll need to install the OpenVPN Connect app from the App Store on the iOS device that we'll be configuring. After the app is installed, you'll need to connect your iOS device to your computer and copy the OpenVPN configuration file to your device. On my MacBook, I'll bring up a new Finder window, select my iPhone, navigate to Files, then OpenVPN, and copy the OpenVPN configuration file directly into the OpenVPN folder. At this point, we can disconnect the iOS device from the computer and launch the OpenVPN Connect app. We'll then come up to this Import Profile screen where we'll need to tap File and we should see the OpenVPN configuration file that was just copied to the iOS device. Next, tap on Add to import the file and, if you would like, rename the profile name to something that is meaningful to you. Then enter in the OpenVPN username and, again if you would like to, tap the Save Password box and enter in the corresponding password as well. Next, click Add, then Allow on this OpenVPN warning message and enter in your iOS passcode to add the VPN configuration if needed. Now, you should be able to toggle the newly created connection and if everything was entered correctly, you'll be connected to the OpenVPN service running on your Synology NAS. For WireGuard, let's first SSH into the Synology NAS running the WireGuard service and bring up the configuration file. This should be the Etsy WireGuard WG0 conf file if you follow the steps in my WireGuard setup video. Here, we'll just need to set up a new peer section for the iOS device that we'll be setting up by first adding in an allowed IPs line with an IP address that will be assigned to the device. Next, from the iOS device, install the WireGuard VPN client from the App Store, then launch the app. Once running, tap on the plus sign and select Create from Scratch to bring up the new configuration screen. Here, you'll need to provide a name for your WireGuard connection, then tap Generate Key Pair to create the client's public and private keys. Next, copy the public key and paste it into the public key line in the server configuration for the peer that was just created. 
My MacBook and iPhone are synced together, so I can use the universal clipboard to copy and paste between the two devices, but email would work great as well. For addresses, enter in the IP address from the peer section added earlier on the server. Nothing needs to be entered for either the listen port or MTU. For DNS servers, enter in one that you would like to use. In my case, I run a local DNS server, so I'll enter in that information here. Now click Add Peer, and now we'll need to copy and paste the public key from the server to the iOS device. So back on the server, I'll save the changes and exit out of the editor. Then I'll cat the server's public key, copy it to my clipboard, then back on the iOS device, paste it into the public key section of the peer. I'll then enter in the endpoint information, which is the DDNS hostname and port configured for the setup, and the allowed IPs, which I'll set to 0.0.0.0/0 for a full tunneling VPN connection, and click Save. To finish up the setup, I'll select Allow on this WireGuard warning message and enter in my iOS passcode to add the VPN configuration. One last thing to do on the server is stop and start the WireGuard service. Now, back on the iOS device, you should be able to toggle the new WireGuard connection on, and if everything is set up successfully, you'll be connected to WireGuard running on your Synology NAS. Hopefully this video helped you connect your iOS device to either an L2TP IPsec, OpenVPN, or WireGuard VPN running on your Synology NAS, and if it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, check out some of my other videos listed here on screen as well. Lastly, I'd be grateful if you would consider subscribing to this channel and consider supporting my work as well by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.